for me, this might be one of the most entertaining bits of fucking celebrity news I've ever seen in my entire life, just because of the person involved, right? Um, and I have to kind of give a big shout out to my girl Kat, who is a fucking um, big, big Lizzo fan. I remember she said the other day I was talking to her, actually. She's like, oh, Lizzo to her is like Harry Styles to me. Where I said, you know, I met Harry Styles one time very briefly for like less than 30 seconds. And because he was mildly nice to me, I'm now a ride or die Harry Styles fan. And I think she said the same thing about Lizzo. Lizzo now is that for her. You know, she met Lizzo once, I think, after a show or something. And she was really nice. So she just can't wrap her head around this being true. But this account, even if it's not fully true, even if it's just 5% true, it's fucking hilarious. Just considering that Lizzo's whole entire fame and image has been kind of, you know, behind the whole waving of the flag of being fat accepting and being happy to be a big girl and being confident and all this malarkey <clears throat> so the actual truth of the matter being that behind the scenes she's actually fat shaming people it's fucking hilarious that's the thing that kind of gets me to be honest right you're this kind of fat advocate you're this person that's kind of you know in a good i think in a good way you're representing you know larger women out there and you're i think in a good way also you're putting out a different image and you're probably inspiring loads of fucking boys and girls out there who kind of want to you know take part in you know and stuff like pop music and stuff and don't think there's a place for them by purposely putting this image out there of yourself but actually behind the scenes you are a piece of shit just like everybody else I find this absolutely hilarious because a lot of these people have this kind of moral superiority like, oh no, we're better. We don't do this, we don't do that. No, no, no. You're just as bad as all of us. We all have these fucking fucked up thoughts in our heads, but we just sometimes own our shit. So let's see the account. This account's fucking incredible, right? So <clears throat> it starts off like this, case of NBC exclusive. Three former Lizzo dancers have accused Lizzo of sexual harassment and creating a hostile work environment and um, filed a lawsuit on Tuesday. The dancers accused Lizzo, a performer known for embracing body positivity and celebrating her physique, of calling attention one dancer's weight gain <laughs> and later berating then firing the dancers after she recorded meeting, meeting because of the health condition. The suit filed by Los Angeles Superior Court provided by NBC News by the plaintiff's law firm also accuses the captain of the Lizzo's dance team of um, prostat sorry prostas prostatizing pros proselytizing that's preaching i'm assuming right to other performers and deriding those who had premarital sex while sharing lewd sexual fantasy stimulating oral sex and publicly discussing the virginity of one of the plaintiffs you gotta love this shit the suit does not say if lizzo knew about the allegations linked to the dancers ca dance captain shirley quigley who plaintiffs uh, believe the singer is aware that the complaints about according to the lawyer ron zambarano the suit names Lizzo, whose real name is Melissa Vivian L Jefferson. I'm also surprised by that. Are you guys surprised by that? I'm surprised to hear that. I didn't know Lizzo's name was nothing to do with Lizzo. I thought maybe, I don't know, Elizabeth, uh, Lizzie, I don't know, something. There's not one part of her name that's Lizzo. It's Melissa Vivian, Viviana Jefferson. I'm surprised by that. I actually thought Lizzo was like her name, you know? But maybe I'm naive. Um, in addition to accused accusation of a hostile work environment, sexual harassment, and suit brings claims of religious and racial harassments, um, false imprisonments, and interference with prospective economic advantages. The stunning nature of how Lizzo and her management team treated their performers seems to go against everything Lizzo stands for publicly. While privately she weight shames her dancers and demeans them in ways that are not only illegal, but absolutely demoralizing. I fucking love it because I think we all know I've definitely had my periods in my life where I've been ultra fat and shit and we've definitely known ultra fat people, you know, we've all got friends and stuff and we know generally most human beings don't enjoy being fat. We know that. There is a small percentage of people out there who are more than comfortable in their own skin but for the most part I feel like being comfortable in your own skin, you're not really gonna be bragging about it and waving it like a flag. You just live your everyday life. It's not really that big of a deal. I always got this feeling when people are like, on this whole fat this whole fat acceptance thing it's usually just a it's usually just a projection you're trying to somehow stop people from trying to bully you by pretending like you're fat accepting 
kind of getting in front of it but actually behind the scenes you're probably way more insecure than people who actually just embrace it and kind of live their everyday lives without actually flying a flag about it that's just my personal opinion but it continues the suit accuses Liz of uh, calling attention to what is way and appearance about at the south by southwest show the singer and uh, her choreographer later told the dancer ariada davis that she seemed less committed to her role a comment the suit describes as a thinly veiled concern of davis's weight <laughs> so they were pissed off that she was losing weight on tour or something this is fucking insane representative for lizzo did not immediately respond for a request for comment quickly did not immediately respond efforts to reach lizzo production company big girl were un unsuccessful um anyway the allegations the trip to amsterdam strip club um whether that name is bananan bananan bar happened after a performance in the city earlier this year so this is recent the suit states that Lizzo's after parties were routine and non-mandatory. Everybody hates that sort of shit. Have you ever worked in the workplace? Now, actually, let me take that back. One of the keys to surviving in corporate in in the corporate world or in any nine to five, especially office jobs, I found, is to be very willing and very up for going to staff drinks. You don't have to drink. You can sometimes fake it and act like a drinker when you're not. But actually physically going to pubs and going to bars and going to people's dinners and shit will go a long way to ensuring that you never get fired and you're always in the good graces of people, more so than the work that you do. It's really bad to say this, but it's actually true. No one really cares about how well you do your job. As long as you do it decent enough where it's not obvious that you're stupid and you're incompetent, but if you're more willing to actually go to, you know, um, after work drinks and shit, that actually goes a long way to protect you somewhat. So when you go to a workplace where it's like non-mandatory, where you kind of have to, it's really disgusting. <clears throat> you know, and it kind of puts you in a weird position. But unfortunately, in some places, it does actually help in terms of like, you know, protecting you in some respect. So anyway, let's continue. But it alleges that um, those who attended uh, were favoured by the singer and had a greater job security. Exactly. See, they're not mandatory, but if you went, you clearly saw the benefits. At the club, Lizzo allegedly began inviting cast members to take turns touching the nude performers, catching dildos launched on the performers' vaginas, and eating bananas protruding from the performers' vaginas. The suit says Lizzo then turned her attention to Miss Davis and began pressuring Miss Davis to touch the breasts of one nude woman. In my personal opinion, this already is kind of bad. Taking staff members that you that you hired and stuff to a strip club is incredibly suggestive. And then even if it's just like hanging out, people that want to go should want to go for their own, you know, sake. You shouldn't be telling them they should be coming here. It's kind of a bit strange, right? So if you're going to do it, it already I feel like is one of those things that's going to get you in trouble. It's I think if you're going to do it properly, Going to a strip club with your work colleagues is a thing that you do after the staff drinks. But you kind of tell a select group of people, like, you're like, hey, in a bar, hey, do you guys want to continue the party? You still want to get lit? You want to go somewhere else? There's another place I know around the corner. Cool. It's like kind of like a, you know, knee to no basis, whispers, whispers, whispers. But you can't be telling people after work, hey, guys, we've got a staff night out. We're going to a fucking brothel, all <laughs> right? <laughs> That's a little bit unprofessional. It's a tiny bit unprofessional. Um, Davis declined. According to a suit, and Liz allegedly led the chant, goading her to do so. After Davis declined three more times, the chant grew louder and more strident, demanding a visible, visibly uncomfortable Miss Davis to engage with the performer. When Davis eventually ac acquiesced and briefly touched the performer, the group burst into laughter and the suit says after Lizzo allegedly pressed a member of security to the staff to get on stage and began yelling, take it off, according to the suit. I've got a feeling, again, I've never been to... I actually never been to a strip club, have I? No, I've never been to a strip club. Yeah, I've never actually been to a strip club. Fucking wild. We 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 don't actually have many in the UK. The only thing I've been to that's kind of close to a strip club is like a burlesque thing. <clears throat> we have loads of things in the UK. People, us people in the UK, we fucking love those fucking burlesque lace nonsense, like Kat Von D with the fucking, you know, um, with the fucking, you know, the little, you know, um, mask thing. We love all that shit. But full on straight clubs, we don't really have one, right? Or anyone decent I'd go to. But I've got a feeling. I bet you, if you go to a strip club and you ask the strippers, who's the most aggressive and maybe a little bit more annoying customers? I've got a feeling it's fat girls. I've got a feeling groups of fat girls that go to strip clubs who are like all sexually frustrated or some shit or just, you know, are just fucking horny as fuck. I bet you they must be the most annoying customers to get into strip clubs. 
because they they're overly touchy they're super annoying they're super insecure so they just act out do you know what i mean i've got a feeling if you went to a strip club and you asked the dancers and security staff who's more annoying groups of lads or groups of fat girls and i've got a feeling it's groups of fat girls because they don't get any action probably usually right they go in there and it sort of like unlocks all of their fucking desires that they'd want to kind of do and they just get fucking crazy i've got a feeling that's my anyway my just p- personal feeling out there there's something in there um plagues were aghast um with how little regard lizzo showed for body autonomy of all for her employees and those around her especially in the presence of many people whom she employed a week later after the show lizzo invited her dancers to a club so that they'll be able to learn something or be inspired by the performance what lizzo failed to mention when inviting the dancers to the performance was that it was a nude cabaret bar (laughs) oh my god lizzo is fucking freaky isn't it it's not a f- she's not faking the funk all those times she's online shaking her ass she's going to fucking nba games with a t-shirt cut out the bomb so you can see her fucking bum i've always been surprised why lizzo you know regardless of how big she is she's got pretty small tits and a pretty small bum for someone so big no she looks quite tall she looks like she might be like six foot or something but she's got a pretty flat ass it's a lot of mass there, but it's not that, you know, it's not that rotund and the tits aren't that big. It's always interesting to me, isn't it? Like, sometimes it happens. Sometimes you get really fat and all the fat goes all to your boobs and your bum. But sometimes you get fat girls who just have no bums, no tits. Strange, right? Um, the suit describes the performance as artful, um, but plaintiffs were shocked and that uh, Lizzo would conceal the nature of the performance from them and robbing them of the choice not to participate. Harassment claims. The racial, so what are you guys saying in the chat here? Um, I easy stop lying. No, I'm not lying. I've never been to a strip club, mate. Never want, um, so you have a le- you have to leave. So you leave last job, didn't eat the boss's bus exactly. <laughs> didn't eat the boss's. <coughs> oh my God. The, the, the Lizzie feeling good as hell. Uh, eight, what, eight yo ho. <gasps> oh, sorry. I'm burping too much into the mic. I apologize. Eight yo ho Joe says, UFC Kennedy Neko Kucho. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the Nigerian guy that's like a new John Jones. Um, looks like AZ's dad. Yeah, that guy. Oh, my God, he got dropped. No. No. Oh, my God. I just said, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just said he looks like a new John Jones. And he just got dropped with a straight right. And fucking ground and pound. Oh, my God, man. That's an early stoppage, I think. That's an early stoppage. That's too early, man. That's a too early of a stoppage. Fuck Kennedy, man. That's too early of a stoppage, I think. That's an early stoppage. He 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 should have he should let them carry on. Wow, that was a good that was a good counter right. Whoa, he dropped him straight away, ground and pound. He started covering up. He didn't look like he was in control. Yeah, the ref should have fucking gave him more time. Couple more seconds, man fuck my fucking timing is awful i read that fucking stream chat and then i said <laughs> he's a new john jones <laughs> the nigerian john jones john jones would have never got flattened like that anyway whatever we continue fuck fuck man i've got the brendan Shaw touch slyly you know i've got the brendan Shaw touch as much as i take the piss out of brendan Shaw for his horrible takes i've got the brendan Shaw touch i swear to god i fucking curse this guy i'm so sorry kennedy fuck man the racial harassment claim is linked to what the suit describes as comments charged with racial and fat phobic um animus um that were made by touring company employees in one instance the former dancers asked to be compensated for their downtime at a rate of 50 percent of their weekly pay according to a suit an accountant um allegedly responded to a request by offering 25 percent and scolding them for being upset and disrespectful lols um only the dance cast compromised or fully figured women of color were never spoken to in this manner the suit says the religious harassment <coughs> allegations is connected with quigley the dance captain who also worked as a judge in lizzo's reality show according to a suit she preached her christian beliefs and took every opportunity to, to prophesize um to any and all of the presence of regarding pros- protestation yo can you really sue somebody for being a jesus freak this is a bit much why did they include this girl in the fucking in the fucking suit can you sue someone for being a jesus freak i know it's annoying i get it but can you sue somebody for being 
for fucking you know being a fucking bible thumper that sounds a little bit strange we all we've all known people like this at work where like who's always preaching about the word of god and no sex before marriage and shit and want to get you converted and want you to be born again but that's not a fucking punishable crime i don't think in that way anyway after discovering that Davis was a virgin, quickly quickly discussed the subject in interviews and posted about it on social media. And when the cast members asked her to stop pressuring Rodriguez about her faith, quickly responded, no job and no one will stop me from talking about the Lord. Cool. Dancers dismissed. Two dancers were fired in April or May, according to a suit. Williams also jumped in April 26. Days after she spoke out, um, spoke up at a meeting in which she challenged the assertion from Lizzo that the dancers were drinking before performances <laughs> hilarious um the day before lizzo had told the group that they would have an audition again and a move prompted that the suit described as excruciating 12-hour rehearsals she's putting them through fucking brutal camps i love this um if lizzo was dissatisfied with the performers the suit alleges the dancers will be fired and sent home that's standard that's not something to be complaining about during the rehearsals davis was so fearful that she'd lose her job she went to the bathroom she sold her pants <laughs> no you can't blame lizzo for pissing yourself you're just not built for this are you come on man get with it she was given a see-through see-through uniform she was given a see-through outfit with no undergarments to finish the performance, the suit says. Nah, you can't. Can you blame Lizzo for pissing yourself? When Lizzo raised the issue again, the following day, Williams responded saying the dancers didn't drink. The suit says the singer then allegedly offered um, what the suit describes as a mocking reply. Well, if you're not, then good for y'all, for all of y'all. Five days later, on April 26th, Lizzo told manager fired Williams in hotel lobby. The manager attributed determination to budget costs and said the suit, which noted no one else was fired. I guess that's the girl, right? That's the young lady that got fired. Yeah, she looks fairly beautiful in her own way big up her oh, we're not going to get the instagram there we don't want that let's continue um rodriguez complained to the manager about the decision to publicly fire williams a move that lizzo repeatedly raised with the dancer during the april 27 meeting davis recorded the april 27 meeting because she suffered an eye condition that sometimes left her disorientated in stressful situations she's she's got an eye condition that makes her disorientated when she's stressed what yo some of these women feel like they're, they're full of shit you've got an eye condition that makes you that only flares up when you're stressed out that doesn't mean you have a headache or something come on days later lizzo held an emergency meeting and the security employees to compensate dancers phones and the suit states um lizzo became furious holding expletives at the group and stated that she was going to go around the room person by person until somebody told lizzo who made the recording Davis acknowledged the recording, the meeting, saying that she had wanted to have a copy of Liz's performance notes. The suit says, when Davis was said that she hadn't meant any harm and that she deleted the video, Liz allegedly responded, there's nothing you can say to make me believe you. Coyle, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bitch goes cross-eyed, exactly. She goes cross-eyed when she gets stressed, like what? Miss Quigley said that Lizzo then took turns berating Davis after cascade, after, sorry, cast castigating um uh, miss davis uh before fucking lizzo left the meeting rodriguez oh shit um i'm just watching the fucking i'm, I'm looking a little side eye on the content oh no, sorry, sean o'malley okay i thought it was the other guy anyway before lizzo left the meeting rodriguez told her that she felt disrespected and would resign the suit says lizzo responded by cracking her knuckles uh balling her fist and using expletives um lucky rodriguez left the suit says lizzo raised both her middle fingers and yelled a slur the suit alleges false imprisonment against Liz's production company because a member of the security detail allegedly followed or forced Davis to remain in the room. The suit does not specify a dollar amount of damages that cover emotional distress. In the meantime, Liz continues to inspire fans. Okay, let's see. In my opinion, this whole thing is kind of obviously really damaging to Lizzo because she's always been a girl's girl. So clearly what we're seeing, I think most of these issues are maybe a little bit hard to prove i think in a court of law maybe right but the whole thing around her taking her dancers to a sex club and forcing them to eat bananas that come out of fucking strippers fucking pussies and shit that's a little bit too much especially for lizzo she's got such a good girl nice fucking image that already is damaging enough to really ruin her for good 
You know, that's the unfortunate thing. It's sort of similar to Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen DeGeneres basically got cancelled because she's a horrible boss and treats people like shit behind the scenes. But it mostly had to do with the fact that she was always kind of a be kind. She was the be kind person, right? Be kind, be kind, be kind, be kind. But then when it comes out that she's not actually kind to her own employees behind the scenes, everybody kind of lost the plot. So I think Lizzo's really... Lizzo's fault in this is that her image behind the scenes clearly doesn't really you know it's not really um uh what do you think it's not congruent with how she is in her, her image in front of the cameras isn't congruent with how she's behind the scenes that's her major issue so her being fake this entire time is what's going to eventually cost her her career and her fucking star power it's going to get to a point where people are going to just not be willing to fucking work with her anymore. So anyway, a few other people came out and said some things about Lizzo, right? Because that's what ends up happening. And whenever you get cancelled, everybody kind of queues up and decides to kind of take, you know, give you a kick in when you're down. So this filmmaker, um, courtesy of Pop Crave, called um, Sophia Nally Allison, alleges that she's also had some very unfortunate experiences with Lizzo. And again, this is the more damaging part. The fact that Lizzo isn't a nice person, clearly behind the scenes, she's a bit of a B-I-T-C-H. This is the bit that I think Lizzo has to be really worried about. Less so about the other stuff because it's kind of hard to prove. It's a bit he says, she says, but this is the ones that it's going to probably harm her the most. So this person called Sophia, who's also a filmmaker, worked at Lizzo, said the following. I usually don't comment on anything pop culture related. But in 2019, I traveled a bit with Lizzo to be her director of her documentary. I walked away after about two weeks. I was treated with such disrespect by her. I witnessed how arrogant, self-centered and unkind she is. I was not protected and was thrown into a shit situation with little support. My spirit said to run as fast as you fucking can. And I'm grateful I trusted my gut. I felt gaslit and was deeply hurt, but I've peeled. Reading these reports made me realize how dangerous a situation it was. This kind of abuse of power happens far too often. Much love and support to the dancers. This also echoes my famous saying that I say all the fucking time. In my humble opinion, the enemy of other women isn't men. It's always other women. Other women are far worse to each other, do far worse to each other, I feel like, especially in fucking entertainment, in the industry, wherever industry you work in, than any man could ever get away with, the shit that they get away with, especially if they are from a minority, especially if they fucking represent, uh, an um, you know, an, an unrepresented fucking community of people, whether they're fat or whatever it may be, like, they get away with absolute murder, like, this is pretty crazy, right? And another, and I think she expounded on the fucking allegations, so Sophia elaborated a little bit more on what she said previously about fucking Lizzo. Let's see these comments, right? To be clear, since I've spoken out, I've had others privately share their very similar experiences. And I've also been affirmed by people who witnessed what I went through. Lizzo creates an extremely toxic and hostile working environment and undermines the work, labor and authority of other black and brown women in the process. That's the really concerning bit because Lizzo only surrounds herself with black and brown fat people, right? Or people in general. So if you're surrounding yourself with people from minorities, from minority backgrounds, and then you treat them like shit, it's going to be a hard word. It's going to be a hard road back for you. It continues. Lizzo Chris, da, 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 notice how the documentary ended up being directed by a cis white man. She is narcissistic bully and has built her brand off of lies. I was excited to support and protect a black woman through the documentary process, but quickly learned her image and message was curated, was a curated fa facade. I stand with the dancers and anyone who has had similar experiences working with her and her team. These working conditions are not okay. Like I said, all this stuff, reputationally wise, is going to do so much damage to her because she's so brand friendly. She gets all the good deals, similar to how Travis Scott's get. Travis Scott gets all the good deals, even though she's quite outspoken. So this is going to really hurt her more so than the allegations, which I said before are a bit, he said, she said, and probably hard to really prove. And did Lizzo actually tell them to suck on a banana? Or was, one of, was, was, was it one of her friends? It's hard to prove all that shit. But this sort of like circumstantial, um, you know, uh, personal experiences that people are sharing is the things that's really going to fuck her, I think, in the long run. So Lizzo is in a really shit situation. Um, another person, again, when you're when you're getting cancelled, this is something I fucking hate. When everyone fucking queues up, like, no one has courage to say anything first 
because everyone's a pussy online basically everyone talks a big game about everything but really and truly people are willing to get treated like shit behind the scenes by celebrities because they're celebrities because they want to be next to the star but when one person has the guts to say something everybody kind of follows that fucking sheep but you know what i mean they the, the girls that got assaulted and got abused they took the fucking hit and now these get these other people are fucking falling in line so let's read this pit this is from a person called ola oj wumi um is relating her experience at a lizzo concert in 2017 let's see what this account is saying ola oj wumi is saying this tragic i defended lizzo from racism misogyny and fat phobia in the past i hesitated to discuss my personal experience with her and her team at a concert i was trampled by a man in my wheelchair at her dc show in 2017 they saw it and brought him on stage with her anyway <laughs> what <laughs> what so this woman i guess is disabled judging by her profile picture she got trampled in her wheelchair lizzo's team saw it and then what brought the man up instead of bringing her up is that what she's trying to say very strange accusation didn't expect to get trampled at the lizzo concert in my wheelchair didn't expect to have her invite the fan who did it on stage to sing with her okay this is a little bit much this is a bit of a stretch so she thinks lizzo saw her lizzo saw the guy trample on her and then invited her on stage because she was like what like impressed <laughs> what i was a few people over the front and was appalled when this happened i'm sorry they ruined last night for you really fucked up is there another slide no 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 slide. i don't know this is a little bit again this feels like a little bit of a stretch come on lady really i don't think lizzo saw it but again doesn't make lizzo look amazing um and then i guess that might be the last of it when it comes to lizzo fucking things and then of course lizzo then came out and made her own statement which is fucking incredible personally it definitely doesn't say anything it's just a whole lot of words <laughs> i fucking love statements like this we get no accountability zero um lizzo said the following these last few days have been gut-wrenching difficult and overwhelmingly disappointing my work ethic morals and respectfulness has been questioned my um character has been criticized usually i choose not to respond to these false allegations but these are unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous not to be addressed these sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who have already publicly admitted that they were told that their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional i love the lack of accountability and personal responsibility this one love it um as an artist i have always been very passionate about what i do I take my music and my performances very seriously because at the end of the day, I only want to put on the best art to represent me and my fans. The passion comes from hard work and high standards. What are you talking about here? Sometimes I have to make, this is, you can tell Lizzo was good at English, like did well English lit, because this is one of those, you know when you're answering a question in an English exam and you don't know the answer and you kind of just repeat the question as part of your answer like oh i don't know name this whatever what does represent what does so-and-so paragraph in this shakespeare poem represent and you're saying this particular shakespeare poem that was written in da -da -da -da, the particular po you know what i mean you just start fucking repeating the fucking question in the answer so you can fucking just fluff out the fucking words so you can have a a bit of text that looks like you said something substantial that's basically what you're doing this is all fucking filler um Anyway, she says, I take my music and my performances seriously because at the end of the day, I only want to put on the best art represents me and my fans. With passion comes hard work. Um, sometimes I have to make hard decisions, but it's never my intention to make anyone feel uncomfortable or like they aren't, or like they aren't valued as an important part of my team. I'm not here to be looked at as a victim. Yes, you are. I also know that I'm not a villain. Yes, you are. <laughs> that people in the media portray me to be these last few days. I'm very open about my sexuality. <laughs> I thought she's going to come out. I thought she's going to come out. People love doing that when they get cancelled. They just like to come out straight away. I'm gay. <laughs> it's like, guy, we don't give a fuck. Can you at least address the allegations? No one cares if you're gay. Just at least address the allegations. People are saying you're a creep. People are saying you're an abuser. People are saying you did some awful shit. Can you address the allegations, please? At least you didn't do that. Um, I'm very open about my sexuality, expressing myself, but I cannot accept or allow people to use that openness to make me out to be something I am not. There is nothing I take more seriously than the respect we deserve as women in the world. 
I don't know what that means, to be honest. I know what it feels like to be body shamed on a daily basis and would absolutely never criticize or terminate anyone because of their weight. Yes, you would, though. If anybody should body shame anybody, it's another fat person because you've already been fat. Think about it. No one skinny should really ever body shame anybody because you've never had the, you never gone through the pain of being fat, of having to try to lose weight, of watching what you eat. Other fat people can sh body shame other fat people because you know what it takes to be fat, right? You know, some people are just fat because they're fat, fat because of what they eat, fat because of thyroids, fat because of takeout, fat because of fizzy drinks, like fat because of alcohol. Only other fat people can really body shame other fat people. So she's the prime candidate for body shaming somebody, to be completely honest. It's, it, it's the same way like models. Only other models can criticize other models about their weight. Another model can look at another model and say, oh my God, you look so fat today. Even though the person's like tiny as fucking fuck and most girls out there would die to have that body. Only other supermodels can look at another model and say, hey, you're a little bit chubby. You're a little bit fat around the arms. You're a little bit fat around the neck. It goes for fat people too. Um, there's nothing I take more seriously than the respect I deserve for women in the world. Um, blah, blah. And then the last slide, it says her apology. I am hurt, but I will not let the good work I've done in the world be overshadowed by this. I want to thank everybody who has reached out to support me and lift me up during this difficult time. I bet no one has. Because this is fairly, you know, what you call it? It's fairly, uh, it's fairly clear to see that she's clearly a horrible person behind the scenes. I very much doubt a lot of people reached out to her. I think that's just something people say to make themselves feel better. But I, I'm pretty sure her, her phone line is definitely not ringing as much as it was ringing in the past. But again... Not shocked, to be honest. I'm not surprised. Um, I have a feeling that people who are overly virtue signally in public are usually the opposite or do far worse behind the scenes. It's just one of those things I feel like. When, when you're somebody that's overly preaching about one thing and trying to purport to be some sort of perfect person and somebody that's trying to, you know, you're selfless and you do this and do that to help you. Like, there's something fishy there. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm a little bit of a you know maybe i'm a little bit of a cynic in that way but i just look at people who are overly virtue signally and always kind of get my kind of spidey senses always kind of go we 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 there's something a little bit off there you know maybe it's just me i don't know if you you know chat guys agree what you guys say here the first time lizzo had gate had greens is the word salad <laughs> coil is on a rampage richie rich says yes when beyonce took your, your name out of your song mid tour you know the industry is about to turn exactly yeah and if you watch the video, the Beyonce video, she's clearly saying the words of the of the people she mentioned in the song. And then she does, she kind of closes her mouth when Lizzo's name is meant to be there. So clearly, the words got out you know you're on tour the, the only thing you got to do after the show is to fucking get on your phone so i'm sorry beyonce have seen all the news and clearly um they were this they were all distancing themselves from her so it's looking kind of quiet for for fucking um lizzo out here to be honest if she's able to fight back at it and prove the allegations to be false fair play but again i think the damage more so is not even the allegations about the fucking strip club and shit i feel like that stuff you can easily probably kind of refute I feel like it's more so the reputational damage she's going to take for it being revealed that she's not a girl's girl, you know? She's not really here, you know, fighting for women's rights and all this sort of shit, whatever she's purporting to fight for. Because um, clearly behind the scenes, she's a bit of a fucking nightmare. Clearly behind the scenes, she's a bit of a fucking nightmare. So, you know, what can you do? What can you do?